In Geneva, a historic deal is struck. For the first time in nearly a decade, we have halted the progress of the Iranian nuclear program, and key parts of the program will be rolled back. Designed to block Iran from ever building a nuclear weapon. These are substantial limitations, which will help prevent Iran from building a nuclear weapon. Simply put, they cut off Iran's most likely paths to a bomb. After weeks of intense talks between Iran and six world powers in Geneva, crippling economic sanctions on Iran will be eased in all about $7 billion in relief. In exchange, Iran agreed to halt enrichment of uranium above 5 percent, well below weapons grade, and to dilute or convert its current stockpile of enriched uranium so it cannot be used for a weapon. Iran also agreed to stop building or operating its Iraq heavy water reactor, a second potential path to a bomb. And Iran promised to be more open, allowing intrusive daily monitoring of its nuclear program. In answer to a question from CNN, Iran's Foreign Minister Javad Zarif said the deal gave Iran what it has long sought, formal recognition of its freedom to a peaceful nuclear program. Some Iranian officials are claiming that right has been recognized. You say the program has been recognized. The White House says there is no formal recognition of a right to enrich. How did you square that circle? We believe that the current agreement uh, the current plan of action, as we call it, in, in two distinct places uh, uh, has a very clear reference to the fact that Iranian uh, uh, enrichment program will continue and will be a part of any agreement, now and in the future. Israeli's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, however, was sharply critical of the deal, calling it a historic mistake. He went on to say that the agreement threatens many countries, including Israel. Secretary Kerry offered this assurance to America's closest ally in the region. Let me be crystal clear to Israel, to our other friends in the region, uh, to any neighbor who feels threatened, that the next step requires proof certain, a fail-safe set of steps which eliminate the current prospect of a breakout and the creation of a nuclear weapon. Still, the deal also has its critics back in Washington. Republican senators, including South Carolina's Lindsey Graham, deeply skeptical. So if all we've done is left in place what they've got, and it hasn't been rolled back or dismantled significantly, you still have the capability to, to enrich to weapons grade. And the question is, should they be allowed to enrich given their behavior at all?